Hello, this is question 20 on paper 1 of TMUA 2017. So here we're given this triangle, uh, and we're told that a and d are greater than 0, and that 3d is greater than 2a, and we want to know the range of possible values in degrees for this angle. Okay, so we're trying to relate side lengths to angles in triangles, and we've got a couple of rules that will help with that. So we've got the sine rule and the cos rule. But we've only got one angle here that we're interested in, so we can't really use the sine rule. So let's begin with the cos rule. So here the angle capital A is just this angle that we're interested in. This uh, is the side opposite the angle, so A plus 2D and the B and C are just these two sides. So substituting these uh, into the cos rule, we end up with this here. And if we try and simplify this down, let's first expand the brackets. And now you can see we have a lot of uh, things cancelling. We can take uh, 2AD from both sides, and that will leave us with 2AD on the left. And again, if we take the D squared from both sides, we end up with 3D squared. So what we're left with is 3D squared plus 2AD minus A squared on the left-hand side, and minus 2A times A plus D cos capital A on the right. OK, so now let's see if we can factorise this left-hand side, maybe. So, to get a 3d squared, we're going to have to have a 3d and a d. And to get the minus a squared, we're going to have to have an a and a minus a. And to make the 2ad in the middle, we see that the minus a is going to have to go in this bracket, and the a plus a is going to go in the second one. Okay, and now we see that we can cancel a, a plus d off both sides. Then if I divide by this minus 2a, then this 3d over minus 2a is just going to give us minus 3d over 2a. And the minus a over minus 2a gives us plus a half equals cos a. Okay, so after a lot of simplifying, we've got down to here. And we're told at the beginning that 3d is greater than 2a. Therefore, this 3d over 2a is going to be greater than 1, so minus 3d over 2a is going to be less than minus 1. So on this left hand side we've got less than minus 1 plus a half, so overall we've got something that is less than minus 1 half. Okay, so looking at our cos graph, um, I know that cos of 60 gives us uh, a half, so by the rotational symmetry about 90 degrees, uh, to get minus a half I'm going to have to take cos of 120. So if this curve is my cos of capital A, then for cos A to be less than minus a half, then I'm going to have to take A to be greater than 120, so that it lies in here. But also, capital A is an angle, right? So in a triangle, this angle can't be greater than 180 degrees. So we need A to be greater than 120, but less than 180, so that's solution E.